Hey friends, it's Laurie. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm making three spring farmhouse DIYs using some Dollar Tree supplies. Getting started, I'm using two of the four by six wooden pallets from the Dollar Tree. To attach them together and to give them a bit of a base, I'm using six of the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower blocks. Attaching them all together, I'm using my Starbond Thick Glue. It sets up super fast and I have the company linked below along with a coupon code in case you'd like to check it out. I turned my two pallets over and I added some of my Starbond Thick Glue to the end support and then I'm just attaching two of my Tumbling Tower blocks. I then added some glue to the ends of my pallets and attached them together. From there, I glued two of the tumbling blocks over the ends of the pallets to help hold them in place. I then glued two more tumbling blocks over the end support. This glue sets up so quickly that it was ready to paint in about two minutes. I used my white acrylic paint and I gave both sides a complete coat. Now that it's dry, I'm adding on a hanger and I cut a piece of jute about 18 inches long. Then using my glue gun, I attached it to the back of my sign. This DIY can also be used without the hanger and it makes a really cute stand-up sign. With that complete, I'm going to place it aside and paint my lettering. I'm using one of the metal welcome signs from the Dollar Tree and using my blue acrylic paint, I'm giving the front a complete coat. When it's dry and to help protect the finish because sometimes the paint can scrape off of the metal, I'm then going to give it a coat of Mod Podge. To spell out the word spring on my welcome spring sign, I'm using some of the wooden Dollar Tree letters. I chose six different pastel colors and then painted each letter in a different one. When I was done, I then set my letters aside to dry. I had two small wooden birdhouses in my stash, so I'm using these on my Welcome Spring sign, but the Dollar Tree also sells larger birdhouses, and you can just add one of those. I removed both of their hangers, and then using my golden brown acrylic paint, I gave them both a coat. Each birdhouse has an accent star, so I'm using the same blue paint that I used on the word welcome, and I'm giving each a coat. From there, I used my light green acrylic paint, and I painted each roof. Once the birdhouses were dry, I then took an old piece of sandpaper, and I just ran it along the edges to give them a bit more of a rustic look. With all my pieces painted and dry, it's now time to put my sign together. I'm using my E6000, adding some to the back of each birdhouse, and then centering one on each end of the sign. I'm now adding some E6000 to the back of my word welcome, and I'm centering it on the top between my two birdhouses. And now once again, I'm using my E6000, placing some on the back of each letter and centering the word spring under the word welcome. I want to add some birds to my sign and I found this four pack at Michael's. I'm going to use my glue gun and attach a blue and a green one onto the birdhouses. To finish up, I'm using some of the Dollar Tree blue gingham ribbon. I'm just making a simple bow, and then using my glue gun, I'm attaching it to my jute hanger. And now that I'm done, my welcome spring sign is ready to hang.
Today I'm participating in a Spring Fling collab with three of my sweet friends and it's being hosted by Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start. She has an amazing channel and you can check her out along with the Spring Fling collab. I'll have that playlist linked below in my description. If you're enjoying my video, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below and leaving me a big thumbs up. To start my spring farmhouse bunny, I'm using one of the plush rabbits from the Dollar Tree, along with a package of Dollar Tree carrots. My bunny will be holding three, so I'm using my hot glue gun and placing a dot of glue on one of the bunny's hands and then attaching the second to it. Before I add the carrots, I'm using a piece of lace that I had in my stash and I'm going to wrap it around the bunny's neck and secure it in the back with my glue gun. With that in place, I opened my button jar and pulled out three black buttons. One was a little smaller than the other two and I just added a dot of hot glue onto the center of the lace and attached the button. To add the carrots, I simply slipped all three into the bunny's arms. With my carrots in place, I then took my two black buttons and I attached them to the front. I'm using some of the Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon and I'm just making a simple bow. When I was done, I then cut off both ribbon tails and using my glue gun, I attached it in the center of the bunny's ears. To finish up, I did notice that the bunny was missing a tail, so I just grabbed a cotton ball and with my glue gun, I attached it to her bottom. And with that, this bunny is ready to hop into spring. Getting started, I'm going to be using an average size tin can. Mine has a design in the center, so I'm going to give it a band of white using my white acrylic paint. When it was completely dry and to help protect the finish, I did give it a coat of Mod Podge. Once it's dry, I'm going to attach it to this wooden sign that I picked up at Michael's on clearance for a dollar. You can always make your own by turning over a Dollar Tree sign, painting it white, adding on some pencil lines, and drilling out two small holes. I don't like this small hanger, so I'm removing it and cutting an 18 inch length of jute and then hot gluing it to the back. And as a little extra safety, I'm going to add a line of E6000 on top of the hot glue. When I was done, I then cut two short pieces of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. I used some E6000 to attach both of them over the ends of the jute hanger and this way I know my hanger will never move. To attach my can to the wooden sign, I'm using a piece of floral wire. I'm adding a dot of hot glue to the front and then placing the wire in the glue. When my wire was attached, I then gave it a quick coat of white paint to hide the green. I decided where I wanted it placed on my board and then I just slipped the wires through the openings in the wood. When I turned it over, my wires weren't long enough so I used a half piece of floral wire and attached them both together. Then to help hold the can in place, I used some E6000 and I placed it under both sides. To accent the front of the can, I'm using some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and some buffalo check ribbon from Michaels. I measured a piece of the burlap ribbon long enough to wrap around the can and then I cut it to size. I then added some hot glue on the top and the sides to attach it.
The buffalo check ribbon is a bit thinner than the burlap, so I cut a strip of that and I attached it the same way. As an accent, I'm using the same buffalo check ribbon and I'm just making a simple bow. To give the middle of my ribbon a more finished look, I'm just using a small piece of the matching buffalo check ribbon. I'm wrapping it around the center and then I'm hot gluing it in the back. And now I'm just adding some hot glue to the center of my project and attaching the bow. To finish up, I added in some yellow and white flowers from the Dollar Tree. And with that, my farmhouse spring planter is ready to hang. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and making these DIYs. And if you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. Be sure to check out the playlist and I will see you all very soon. Bye everybody! Bye.